Yes, I'm leaving the big four. Hello everyone, what's up? We're back. I've got some news to share, honestly. But first, something is wrong with this. All right, so big news. As you can probably see what's going on, as you can tell by the title. I am leaving the big four. I told the company on Monday, my team, you know, the partners, counselor, everything. Basically everyone who needed to know knew on Monday that I was leaving the firm. I've been working at the big four for about two years now, and it's just a time where I decided to try something else, try something new, pursue a goal of mine that I've had since I was seven or eight, I think. And that goal is pursuing my MBA. I've always known that I wanted to do an MBA since, I just remember my dad bringing it up once, like if you wanna do business, an MBA is what most people would pursue because of the connections and you know just everything that comes with pursuing one. And for some reason in my tiny little brain, it stuck. And so here we are 18 years later, I wanna say, cause I'm about to turn 25 actually tomorrow. And here we are 18 years later, since I heard that I am actually doing it. So this fall, I will be going back to school. Now you might be asking how that process went for me, you know, quitting and telling the firm. I was super nervous and nerve wracked because of the horror stories that I've seen online. You know, people are saying, don't give them too much notice because you're gonna get fired. Uh, a lot of people, where's my phone? Because I actually screenshotted something. Also, if you're wondering why I'm super hyper, it's because I just got back from the gym and I just broke my personal record on the number of pull-ups and everything. So I'm high on adrenaline right now and, and that's why. And also there's, there's a reason why I'm not sitting down for this one because I, I physically cannot. I'm on, I'm on a lot of energy right now. Um, anyway, there was this post that came up that I saw and this person said they sent a text. I'll put, I'll put it on the screen. And I went to the comments and a lot of people are saying that the employee did the right thing by not giving notice. Uh, two weeks notice doesn't even do much to be honest. Can we get a two weeks notice before getting fired? Uh, the only benefit of a two weeks notice is if you want to use them as a potential reference, blah, blah, blah. Just a, a bunch of people saying that if they can fire you without notice, then why can't you quit in a day and stuff like that. And a lot of people sharing their stories about how them bringing it up and giving a notice actually screwed them over. So there were just a lot of stories and a lot of people and they all warned me against bringing it early. But I've just had such a great time working with these people. You know, there were ups and downs. Busy season was definitely not fun. You've, you've probably seen my two videos or whatever that I covered on how brutal it was for me. Plus studying for the CPA and working was just definitely not easy, but these people have made it bearable and really taught me a lot. I really think being a part of EY the people made it for me. And if I were to stay, it would be because of the people. And so I didn't want to screw my team over by leaving and giving them a two weeks notice without them having the ability to get people to roll on to, you know, these really fast paced projects. I'm on two types of projects. So brief context, what I mostly do, I do a lot of fate work, which is financial audit and IT, which is the annual SOX audits. And those have a brutal busy season. Uh, so half the year, more than half the year I'm doing that. And the other half I'm doing SOC reports, uh, which is way more intense and technical because you have to cover a lot of things in a small period of time. Whereas fate is much longer, but obviously there are different challenges to each kind of projects. Anyway, moving on from that, I just didn't want to screw my team over uh, this team I've worked with for four times now. I'm going on my fifth cycle with them and I just really didn't want to leave them hanging. So just wanted to clear the air and tell people that I'm going back to school. And I filmed myself up to the point of talking to the first person. My heart is just going. I am five minutes away from bringing up about me leaving the company. Um, I've never quit anything in my life, especially not a job. This is my first job, like first official job job. Uh, kind of nervous because it's very nerve wracking. I have to like practice this speech or whatever I'm going to say for like, I don't know how many times now, but I just feel like when I get nervous, I babble and it just turns into this automatic machine gun, um, spewing shit 
and I really don't want that, ha that to happen. Um, but yeah, so I'm like crazy nervous right now. <sighs> I'm anxious. I am kind of shaking a little bit. Very, very nervous. I can feel my heart going. One minute, one minute. Oh, fuck me. Oh, I'm so nervous. No worries. Hey, good, how are you? I mean, sorry, three years into this, I thought I'd be <laughs> better at a muting. I played basketball and the weather is like, so as you can see, I was clearly very nervous, um, even starting off the conversation with just a bunch of tangents that had nothing to do with what I was trying to say. And for privacy reasons, obviously I didn't record the rest, just the intro of me trying to get my words out, but couldn't. Brought it to my counselor, super supportive, and then brought it to the partner, also really supportive, like, there's just, I've thought of so many nightmare scenarios that could have happened, like that I would get fired, that I don't know, just a bunch of nightmare scenarios. And what happened was way better than the best scenario that I had in mind, which is really insane. Like everybody's been super nice, super supportive. You know, we're grabbing lunch, we're just saying all the goodbye stuff. I don't even know what to say. Like it's really fresh. It hasn't been a week yet. I will probably update you guys once I leave, move. There's a lot going on this summer and a lot is happening in a very short time, so everything's kind of hectic. And I'm really excited because it just feels like a new chapter. So a lot of big things happening. First, I'm 2025, and now I'm moving. This is the second time I'm officially uprooting my whole life and moving to a new place. The first time I did it was when I was 19, where I came from Taiwan to the US and, well, Seattle specifically, and I stayed here for six years. And now that I'm 25, I'm moving to a new place. And this time I'm doing it by myself. My parents flew here with me the first time we did it. Um, and this time, it's just gonna be me. And I only know one person in Chicago. So this is gonna be very interesting. I'm super excited about this whole MBA journey. I think the experience is gonna be worthwhile and very valuable. Invaluable? Invaluable and valuable mean the same thing, right? Why does valuable and invaluable mean the same thing? Like that doesn't make sense. In should be the opposite, right? Invincible, I have no idea. Can you believe that I'm going to pursue my MBA? Like that's just, anyway, just wanted to share this really quick update that yeah, I'm leaving the book for um, and more information to come. If you have any questions about this, you know, quitting experience, why I quit, well, that's probably really obvious um, or about going to do an MBA, about the application process, about University of Chicago, whatever. Like I'm happy to answer those questions, but for now, I'm gonna keep this short because I am over the moon and, oh yeah, yeah, sweet plug. So if you haven't watched the short film that I posted two days ago about me going home, it's my proudest project. I love that so much. It's my proudest project. So you should definitely check it out. I will probably link it up here on the cards. I still have no idea which direction this is. Um, also, Thank you so much for 600 subscribers. I cannot believe we're at 600. Uh, well, I might actually be able to achieve a thousand by the end of the year and all, it's all thanks to you guys. So I really, really appreciate you. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.